Grüezi, bonjour, guten Tag, benvenuto, welcome to all participants of SAP Now 2021. My name is uh, Peter Schönenberger and I have the pleasure to present in about the next 15 minutes how at Arbonia the migration to S4 was simplified with GIFs IMP. Special thanks at this place to Mr. Langenecker from Arbonia, giving us the opportunity and the permission to showcase his migration project. Just focused on the migration topic, you know, the briefly the case at Arbonia. They want to consolidate the division doors into one single ERP, no wonder, as for HANA should be the target. And of course, they want to also achieve reduction of IT costs by shut down obsolete source systems and simplifying their IT. There are many challenges, of course, but just two listed here. Four companies actually consist of the division doors and they're using three different ERP systems located in three countries. HANA, SAP in general, requires much more data and better data quality. All of you probably know that than typically other systems actually hold and can deliver. So there is an extensive amount of data in different languages, different collations, etc. So data enrichment will be a key element in here. What was the procedure for them? How to find the correct or the best migration tool and methodology for them? They did a meaningful pilot. In the pilot, we had to harmonize four different source systems and three master data objects, material, supplier, and customer. The goal was to analyze per source and object, then design reduction rules, approve them, and get a feeling for the reduced amount, the data quality, the duplicates, and the potential mapping efforts actually coming around. The decision was then taken for Chief's IP as the migration platform and also as the overall history system because they can shut down then the legacy systems. Actually, we are on the phase of the phase wave one of source number one for all of the master data. Chief's IMP information management platform is a product of data migration international headquartered in Switzerland. DMI is a member of DESAC Switzerland and with Chief's IMP also part, a proud part of the SAP MOVE program. The end to end solution aims to simplify and speed up any transformation project delivered in so called use cases focused value to customers. Today, of course, we focus on the transform or migrate to your digital enterprise as for HANA typically. But that's not the only case actually we are having here because as an outcome at the end, you can historize with this platform. So we use not only data, but also old applications and also GDPR compliant with engine rules could be applied. That's not of today but it would be part of the platform itself. Focus of Chief's IMP is actually reusability and synergy, and it's achieved through a major concept, which is called like business concept, business objects, which hold all the logic and is reusable overall. And the major capability is the potential of reduction of data. If we go into the actual case at S4 HANA migration at Arbonia, how is it done? And step one is load the data from the different sources into the Chiefs platform, configure then with this mentioned standard objects. And where not the standard is, you configure an extra object to it, then over the web browser, you define, design, approve reduction rules. When they are approved, you apply the reduction rules and they get into the harmonized staging area where you apply default mappings, structure mappings, 
and uh, also value mappings, of course. A structure mapping would be company code to company code, and the value mapping would be 1,000 company code gets 2,000 company code. So that's two different uh, parts of the game, but both, of course, is uh, integrated here inside the GIFs. Cleansing, it's not only the golden records like duplicates, elimination, but of course also data enrichment. Whenever there is no automated rule possible to do, the manual effort is there and it should be prevent of access. So it's all integrated into the platform. At the end, you are possible to do before you load it like some data consistency checks and then deliver the data as the target system needs it or wants it. In this case, it's the ITDMC cockpit from intelligence where we uh, deliver the IMP platform delivers the data to it and then it's loaded directly into SAP. After that phases, you have like wave one, wave two or load one, load two, and then the final cut over. And after final cut over, you are able actually to shut down the legacy system because you have all the data inside. Then also uh, can be searched uh, for data lookup and compliance perspectives. If we go now into uh, the, the demo, um, of course, due to data privacy, we cannot show uh, live the system at Arbonia, but I have a few slides about it, so you get a feeling. And um, then I do the demo on the Chiefs IMP system to get a better feeling uh, about this. If we look um, at the, at the um, look and feel, and we will see that's exactly the same, it's always the same. So we have like snapshot from from or the screenshot from the Harbonia configuration. So we have like this staging area where you work within GIFs, like this harmonization, duplicates, state enrichment, mappings, etc. And this is the source we are just currently doing in the wave one. And there you can actually analyze on these parts. Of course, they will be added more and more where you do the reduction rule on, on the source data. Um, once uh, the reduction rule is done and the mapping is, is applied, um, for example, for the data quality, you just can run this inside and see potential duplicate uh, groups. And then you can actually select it and mark directly what is a golden record, yes or no. Uh, this is just already one done and etc. So this can be done for duplicates, customers of suppliers, of material as well. For material as well, as you know, that's a bit more complicated, a bit more configuration has to be done than just for customers and suppliers. Uh, a part of it uh, is data enrichment. As mentioned before, uh, typical source system, non-subsource systems do not deliver as much data as actually needed, where you can apply rules, you apply rules, huh, automated, but sometimes it's not possible. Whenever there, you actually then do a data enrichment, a manual data enrichment. And this is, for example, with specific roles inside the platform, you define the specific roles, add the users to these roles, actually configure exactly what they need to do and what kind of fields they have to do. And that's all what we see, and then they can do it. And actually, you can monitor what they, they have to do, where are they, etc. So it's completely integrated. No Excel um, was uh, has to be sent around. Um, another view then, when this is done at any place, at any time, because this is all virtual, you can see the structure, the target structure. In this case, as mentioned before, it's from ITDMC, so it's not the submigration cockpit, but for submigration cockpit, we see that in the demo uh, of our demo system, of course, as well. So um, this would look like this, and then you can uh, export it, you can batch export it, uh, you can directly load it to S4 HANA staging area if that one is needed. That's all part of the product. So now let's go into the demo uh, from the demo system. Let's try to find this one. Yeah, so this is a view on uh, a demo system of ourselves. So it's sitting on actually my, my little laptop and there is like a database. So we have different, we have a little bit more inside here. We have this staging area. 
we have like a source ECC, sub ECC prepared for the reduction. A source would be Navision, another one would be Oracle EBS. That is just a demo of uh, if you search shut down a complete old ECC, etc. And there is some other stuff as well. Let's go into Oracle and have a look about it where you do the reduction rule. So you have your modules, etc. AP, accounts payable, so invoices, payments, vendors, etc. So this is related to Oracle e uh, BS system. So let's have the sample here for the vendors. It's a favorite. And the reduction rule, which was done. Let's have a look. Okay, <clears throat> run it. You would have 81 sets of vendors we want to reduce and we want to harmonize and bring into the new S4. Let's have a look about the same thing about Novision. Just for the sake of simplicity, I just added here two modules. One I called analysis, accounts payables. So let's have here. And also, what is the reduction rule? And from this one, there are coming 80, 68, sorry, 68 uh, records. Um, the same thing, of course, is possible to do in this. So we focused here, just on here, um, in, in the ECC. Of course, there's much more standard available. Uh, uh, but it's growing every day, it would be the same thing. You go to Vendor Master, search the reduction rule, and then you actually run it, etc. When it's done, when you uh, finalize and say, okay, that's approved, that's our reduction rule, then you just hit the button, migration. So, okay, you activate it now. So all other was virtual, and now activate, you apply the rule. So how would it look like? So let's close like this. And then you will be in the staging area. In the staging area, the staging area is set up in the settings, obviously in the settings. And then you have to do a mapping. So it's kind of the phased approach. In the mapping, you can actually start. You don't start by zero doing everything. Okay, you load standard mappings from ECC to S4. That's standard. Structure mapping is always the same. Okay, so you load it. You don't need to do it. You load it, you start with something and apply your specifics. The same thing for Navision, EBS, Comarch, Info, Form, etc. Um, and then you create it. So have a look about the display mappings. So that's a little bit technical, but uh, it's like, uh, you know, let's have a look. Um, all mappings for uh, SCP system, which are activated and which are going to the object supplier. Okay, we would see actually, uh, if we look at it, and, and some people watching this video probably see, ah, okay, I know these structure names like S, Supple, Gen, et cetera. So this is the target structure, which is from S4 migration cockpit, staging area required, okay? And of course, when we have this mapping loaded and work on it, you can work on it here in the edit mode, or you can actually already see some potential conflicts before even doing something. So like, is the source field longer than the target field, for example? You know, this, you know, it's some little things, you can do it already now without doing it actually or realizing it during uh, the export into the target system. So this is the way how, how to do it, how to apply, you load it, and then you say, okay, create it. So you create then the chosen mapping, hit the button, and then it's done. And then you would look into the data quality area. Here we don't go into the data quality area right now. It's for the duplicate because there's not enough data. It's not so interesting. That's not a challenge uh, as of today to do these things. Let's go into the data enrichment, okay? Just some of them prepared. Because data enrichment, data governance, that's a key factor. You don't want to send around Excel emails and lists and there and there. And, you know, the business has to do it and gets mad about it and doesn't deliver it. And then you have to check it if they've done it correctly. All these kind of problems which typically arise. So let's go and say, okay, we have here, this is prepared um, for a specific uh, area. Let's say like the Navision, there is some people which job is to enrich some data from the innovation system for suppliers. So this is a role. So they log in 
and they see uh, just less. Okay, they click on it, see exactly what they need to do. Okay, click on it. Okay, they have to work here. Um, what, yeah, I have already done some work, so not yet. Okay, are there some instructions? Okay, what do I need to do? Oh, okay, I have to add something here. This is demo instructions here, but if you like the idea how 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 simple actually this is. So, and then they would just run it and then say, okay, I have to do it now. You was now this screen a little bit. Here are the instructions. Okay, and then they would have to say, okay, now I need to add for this uh, a supplier and I need to add some, some more things, okay. Make some stuff now. Hello, 23. Oh, let's see what it is. Very simple. I actually we could also make like this, you know. Oh, this is kind of an Excel, but it's not an Excel, it's inside of the GIS platform. So I save the changes, <clears throat> and that's actually done. It could continue or, or not, but let's have a look what is the effect of it. Of course, this user cannot see the effect of it, but our user here, of course, or a user with the coding role can see it. So let's see what is the effect. So this is the area for the target where you see all the objects which are in scope. And let's have a look how it looks like. So we go to the supplier and then also here, um, you would see all huh, from all sources harmonized. Let's have a look. So we have these three sources. We did some edit on the Novision side. So just focus on that source. Uh, just look at them. So we have 68. Of course, it must be 68. Okay. The edited ones is just like here. And then we see which ones actually we did edit. And we could actually load now this selection here as a test load into the SAP. That would mean, it would mean load all the, 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 the structures. It's, I think it's like 11 or, or 17 structures if you have, a, have them all into the supplier uh, staging area or you can create XML files or Excel or CSV or batch load depending what is a loading um, a module. Of course, it's not only this here, but uh, it would be uh, all together, all sources together harmonized is the, the same thing. And then you can just uh, load them. So we have the sources. We have, of course, now all three together harmonized. If you want to load them all and the cut over day, you hit here the button and then all uh, objects in scope here be loaded into the staging area, typically for, for example. And of course, you have also the, the reporting here. Where are we with data quality? what is effectively used, what kind of version did we use, etc. From the documentation perspective, GIFs has everything inside. So you really reduce a lot of manual paperwork because everything is reproducible. Everything is in the audit. Everything is in protocol. So it's everything actually here. Um, with this, um, uh, let's last glance, you would then say, okay, an ECC had be, to be migrated. Uh, we had reduced the data, so you just take the maximum reduction into the S4 to keep it streamlined, to keep it fast, to have new processes in place. So how would it look like? How can you shut down an ECC, a complete one? How would it look like? It's the same thing, you know, it's like the modules, you can make the sort order as, as you want. You would have your FI documents, business would search for. Um, let's say with some documents, so chiefs also can handle documents. Um, and uh, you, you know, you, you have like, you search for an information about here and then say, okay, are there documents? You click on it and then run this one. And then it says, yes, there is a document. And then you actually click on it and then you would open the document directly. So this is a full blown. And that's the reason why you can shut down any kind of legacy system. If we go back now to the slide deck, um, was the demo for this. And as a summary a little bit, and this is for all the migration projects, it's, it's the same. Okay, we did see the glance of Arbonia 
uh, it's absolutely looking the same thing. The process is the same for every migration. It's all in one single tool. You have the full data governments at any time. It's extremely important as of today. Uh, it's more and more important, data privacy, governance, all the kind of things. And you have a reduced, an extremely reduced effort due to the reduction capability. No Excel masses and battles going around for data enrichment and, and kind of mapping versions and was it this or that one, etc. I mean, all of you having done migrations in the past know Excel is brilliant and other tools, but it is cumbersome and this is something which we believe from the innovation part it's the only tool integrating everything and by having these high synergy effects reusing chiefs business objects um, you can actually profit you don't start at zero you start with a good template with a good version which works and then uh, go off and then yeah, after the migration, you can actually switch off the source systems. That's, that's the only solution who actually delivers this as an outcome. It's a very nice outcome, actually, in here. Um, so this is our approach, our benefits. Um, if you want to have more information, um, yeah, just follow us on, on the social media channels or um, old-fashioned way. Just call us, ask us. So, tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, adios, goodbye, and uh, have fun at SAP Now 2021. Thank you.